Hi everybody and welcome to uh, my soapbox. I got Ollie with me and uh, we, we we do a lot of videos together, Ollie, but I wanted some clarification from your generation because I, I think the, about Jake Paul. You know, Jake Paul's called out Conor McGregor in the most crude, crass way, and I need I need you 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 to explain to me what culture he's from and w what does it. I mean, well, I can't explain any buy-in to Jake Paul from from my group of friends or yeah. maybe from my wider generation that I don't know, but myself and you know, any anyone I'm involved with. Um, mm. Also, just looking at that and thinking how absurd it is. But just uh, besides the crassness of it, um, it's just continuing to do a disservice to, um, from my point of view, to to sports like boxing. Um, you know, even UFC by extension. I mean, they'll be in a boxing ring if he fights Conor McGregor because if you had to put him in a cage with Conor McGregor, it would just you would kill him. You know, same with same reason that Floyd fought Conor McGregor in a boxing ring. I wouldn't mind seeing Conor kill him, to be honest with you. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know if people like that have any purpose in life. But you know, I, I, I really <laughs> well, don't. Well, no, they don't. I mean, there's that he got into. You've seen his his whole, like you said, the whole culture is around uh, scandal um, and uh, shock value. But it's not it's not shock value in the way that guys had good shock value. Kind of even back in the day, just in previous years, but. Yeah, I mean, he got his house, was Calabasas' house was raided by the FBI uh, during lockdown, and then he got in trouble for saying he was going to carry on partying while everyone was dying during lockdown. Um, but the the unfortunate thing is, I was reading a bit about. But these guys are becoming, they're they're influencers, YouTubers. Oh well, yeah, and they're becoming. They were they're shaping the minds of the, of, of, of the children of the future. I mean, yeah. I, I cringe when I see my children watching YouTube. I mean, it's it's like I'm. I probably have to go to counseling for it because I just don't quite get it because yeah. content is the worst common denominator. Well, I think the, the, the word content has been devalued hugely in the last five years because everything is content. It's like, it's like I can video myself yeah. and because I am myself, it becomes content. So people are content creators on Instagram and what is their content? It's we take pictures of ourselves in different places. You know, what is Jake Paul's content? It's he is Jake Paul doing these things. If an unknown was doing these things, would it be getting the same kind of reach? No, you know, but from a, from a where sporting and sort of like YouTube and TikTok and social media culture intersect, it was unfortunate for me to see like Mike Tyson um, obviously fought uh, Roy Jones Jr. as the main card when Jake Paul fought um, this ex uh, NBA player. Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson. Yeah. Um, who, in fairness to Jake Paul, who is a dick, yeah. um, Nate Robinson did call him out. Yeah. I mean, and that, I, I don't and he know. Got flattened. <laughs> yeah, he got absolutely bitch slapped. Yeah. But now Mike Tyson's come out and said, oh, it's great for boxing. We've got guys with 40 million subscribers getting people like interested in the sport again. I think you're getting the wrong people interested in the sport and you're getting people interested in a fast. The Mike Tyson fight was called a draw, even though he won every round. Floyd Mayweather, who's now fighting Jake Paul's older brother, Logan Paul, has come out and said, I'm retired. I'm never fighting boxers again, but I'm just going to keep fighting these exhibition matches because they're getting these huge pay-per-view um, you know, payouts and it's just, it's devaluing the sport. So a guy like Conor McGregor is also in a position now where he's been called out so crassly, but the expectation is on him to now take the money and do the exhibition fight. And realistically, he's not gonna go in the ring and smash him because that's probably not gonna be allowed. It's gonna be predetermined before the game, you know? I mean, before the fight, which is unfortunate. And I think it also takes away from what trash talking should be. I know you and my dad spoke about it briefly, but. There's an art to trash talking. Uh, you, know, you look at Muhammad Ali's greatest quotes. Um, you can even the Conor McGregor versus Nate, uh, Nate Diaz fight, I think, when that was happening a few years ago, how good the build up to that was. But like you said, the way in which he called him out, just, you know. Big cigar. I mean, he's an ugly character. Yeah. I know I'm no oil painting, but my God, that guy is ugly. Both Logan brothers are ugly. Or whatever, Paul. Uh, what's yeah. their names? Logan and Jake Paul. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, sorry for my language, but I, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I'm not supposed to get it. Yeah. But um, two classless clowns. Mm -hmm. um, and and, I, and you, you throw in May Mayweather into the mix. How much yeah. is enough? I mean, yeah, now you've got exactly so much I money. You, I mean, you talk about being the greatest boxer of all time. Mm -hmm. Grow up. I mean, if you, Mayweather, you're a moron for even entertaining these conversations. The disservice he's doing to boxing yeah. as, as a sport and whatnot. And, 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 and um, Tyson, yeah, great boxer in his day. Mm -hmm. 
But who wants to see him fight at 50? I mean, God. You know what's also unfortunate is like, you talk about sort of do, doing a disservice to the sport is you don't get like a guy that comes in at 20, it is two for O against two bums and then calls out the featherweight champion because that just doesn't happen on a boxing card, you know? But now because these guys have 20 million subscribers, 40 million subscribers, they've never boxed before. They've gone, Jake Paul's gone two O against ex NBA player and another YouTuber. You know, but now he's got the right to call out, to even call out, he shouldn't even have a platform to call out someone that's established in the sport. And that's kind of my view is, is a guy that's coming into the sport as an actual boxer uh, would get vilified for. Oh God, well, Ali, make no mistake. The, the horse is bolted now. Yeah. This, is a, this is going to be a recognized thing where YouTubers are fighting each other. Yeah. Everybody else is going to do copycat. You've got, you know, you got, what was funny and, and you know, I, I read so many, so much terrible content around this. One of the questions he was asked is, is he, ra is he racist because he knocked out Nate Robinson? What kind of question is that? <laughs> I mean, what kind of world are we living in where we, we, we have these people uh, that, that can do this on YouTube? And, you know, but now he's getting called out by other NBA stars or people because they see a 50 million, a 50 million. Guys, you don't think it just speaks to the primal instinct in humans is... If, greed? If, 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 yeah, well, no, not greed, but just the fact that if, uh, if, if Nate Robinson was like, you know what, I want to get like a team of 11 YouTubers come and we, we um, you know, we'll go play. Well, Nate Robinson is just an idiot. No. Because you don't call someone out and then get knocked out. Yeah. You know, it's like he, he tried to talk this up in terms of, he's, you know, he was a professional, he was a, a college football player, then an, so he really fancies and backs himself as an athlete. Like an athlete. Well, not as a boxer, because you got your head smacked off. This is my thing is like, I think it speaks to our primal instinct in terms of fighting and people will pay to just watch people bash each other and if they've got a name behind them, even better. Because if Nate Robinson had to go say, okay, get five of your best YouTube um, basketball players and we play like an exhibition match, that wouldn't get any views. Do you know what I mean? No one's going to watch five guys that can't play basketball go play basketball against ex-NBA players. But you can get anyone that's got a name behind them saying i'm gonna go fight someone else that's got a name behind them for something else and everyone will watch because it's that basic human instinct of we'll just watch two guys go in and fight each other you know well yeah but i mean uh, youtube has, has has created a platform for people to become popular for no skill sets whatsoever ever yeah you know so uh, look, I try not to be a, a hypocrite, but what, you know, when I'm watching my children, I try and find out what they, what appeals to them in terms of what they like and stuff like that. I just don't get it with these guys. I yeah. really, I, there's nothing discernible about them. There's nothing, you know. They're just, it, it's kind of like American, American psycho on steroids. Mm -hmm. In the world, you know, in terms of American opulence, in terms of the culture where you don't really have to have any skill set or anything else, but you can become rich. Yeah. The, you know, the American dream used to be work hard, uh, you know, and you can build and, the, you know, you can, you can create the American dream for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now it's like everybody wants the American dream tomorrow. Yeah. And how do we get it? Mm -hmm. You know, so they emulate, they copy uh, the most crass moments of, of trying to, I mean, uh, Conor McGregor would kill that guy with one punch. Yeah. Would kill him. It wouldn't be enjoyable. In fact, you know, he'd probably be charged for manslaughter. And um, I, do, I don't. I'm I think the unfortunate thing is we're now in a position where Conor McGregor probably can't say no. A because of the money. B because of the just the stigma attached. Oh, he's been called out if he says no. What does that make him? But there's going to be something predetermined before the match that doesn't let him kill him. And that's the is we're not you're not actually going to get the the response to the call out that you want. You're going to get a very sanitized boxing match. Well, uh, you know, this is the new generation loves love to watch what they want to watch. Um, and they want to keep paying money to watch artificial fights that have no meaning mm. and no skill. Then that's the generation. It's the, the, yeah. That's that's what they want, you know. But it, it's it's kind of sad looking back at it, and uh, yeah. you know, uh, just sad. Anyway, so I don't think I don't think the fight should take place. But if, you know, it's I, you know I love Dana White's chirp. He said, "I think I may, I may." Uh, I may let Amanda Nunez knock his ass off. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. She probably would too. I'd rather see Amanda Nunez fight Fun. Jake Paul yeah. than than uh, than, yeah. than Conor McGregor. You know, so I think I think Dana White showed how brilliant he is by saying that because now it's become a a, a battle of the sexes. Yeah. You know, which is like, uh, and and there's no doubt in my mind that Amanda Nunez would absolutely kill him. Yeah. 
You know, so now the ball's back in his court. You know, forget about Conor McGregor. You're not, you're not there. Yeah. You, you know, you, that, you but you, you, you can't even beat Amanda Nunez, who's a fantastic athlete. And I don't mean to be disparaging yeah. towards her, but make it a battle of the sexes thing mm-hmm. and go into the cage. Oh well, yeah, Dana White's done well to shift the sort of. The He's done. Of the yeah, world. I mean, Jake Paul shouldn't he be shouldn't he be mentioned in the same conversations as a Dana White? Yeah. You know he's 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 nothing. He's a bum. He's a bum. <laughs> he's a bum. Anyway, that's my soapbox, Ollie. Sorry for renting on, but it's been Thanks a crazy. <laughs> you're welcome. It's been a crazy year with COVID, and why should it end any less crazy? Exactly. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, thanks, Ollie. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.